Hi there, my name is Dan Low. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to prove this equality. Uh, uh, not so easy question uh, from Taiwan. Uh, this is one of the uh, seventh grade math uh, competition problem, uh, similar to the uh, uh, Math Olympia uh, in the United States. So <clears throat> the problem is you know, to show or to prove that uh, this summation 2k plus 2 uh, c c means com combinatorial uh, n minus 1k squared you know, because these two are the same plus the other term c m minus 1 to k and c m minus 1 to uh, k minus 1 that is equal to n plus 2 uh, n plus 1 divided by 2 times c to an n okay so uh, well the first idea is to prove this uh, uh, by uh, mathematical induction uh, however you know there is a problem about the variable k because the k uh, comes with each term so it's hard to split them out you know by you know when you when you're doing the math, mathematical induction you know you, you have to uh, deal with that and that is not that is I don't think it's possible to do to, to, to that but if you know you can you know tell me so I'm going to do it another way uh, using the right proof so here's my idea okay so first let's check some uh, small values so when any good one okay so we have uh, this term uh, summation this summation uh, the k goes from 0 to from n equal to 1 or, or if you start with n equals 0 it's gonna be negative 1 okay so that is uh, uh, not uh, well defined so we start with n equal to 1 so here the k is 0 to uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 so k is 0 so basically you have just one term so you plug in k equal to uh, 0 so that's 2 and uh, C m minus one uh, <coughs> to k k when k is zero, uh, so C m minus one to zero c c zero zero. So basically that's one. Okay, so it's a two times one to one, and that was two. So that's the first term. And the other uh, <coughs> term uh, is a uh, uh, summation k goes from one to m minus one, but now n is equal to one. So basically this term. Um, it's nothing uh, because uh, k goes from 1 to 0 basically it's nothing okay so it's 0 so if you sum them together that's 2 is it equal to the right hand side which is uh, 2 n minus n, n plus 1 divided by 2 c2 and n okay so when n equal to 1 c2 and n is c2 1 so c2 1 is 2 okay and now this n equal to 1, 1 plus 1 divided by 2 is 1, so it's 2. So basically that holds, the original equality holds, uh, 2 plus 1 equal to 2. So how about n equal to 3? Okay. So when n equal to 3, so you can see here, uh, when n equal to 3 is 3 minus 1 is 2. So you have three terms, 0, k equal to 0, k equal to 1, and k equal to 2. So we split it out. Uh, when <coughs> k go to 0, you plug in 2k plus 2 is 2, okay? And k to 0, uh, n minus 1 is 2, so it's c2, 0, c2, 0. And plus k equal to 1, and that is uh, 2 times c2, 1, c2, 1, plus k equal to 2, that's 6 times c2, 2, c2, 2. So you put them together, and the answer is 24. And on the other hand, uh, the second summation Okay, you have the k equal to 1 to uh, n minus 1, which is 2. And again, this one has only two terms because it start with k equal to 1. Okay, so when k equal to 1, that's 3. 3, c2, 1, c2, 0, because it is k minus 1. Okay, plus uh, next term is k equal to 2, is 2 times 2, 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5. So it is 5, c2, 2, c2, 1. Okay, you do the some calculation that's 16. Okay, so 16 plus 24 is 40. So is it equal to the right hand side? Yes. 
if right hand side is n plus 1 divided by 2 when n equals 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2, two uh, then 2 times c 2 n that's a 6 3 c 6 3 right so that's 20 so 20 times 2 is 40 so is 40 equal to 24 plus 14 yes so that holds so you can check some small values to begin with uh, to see if this is actually you know uh, an equality and it seems yes so we're gonna prove it okay so to prove that first we need to use um, this uh, identity c n k is equal to c n uh, n minus k uh, you actually expand it out so this is n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial it's exactly the same as the right hand side okay so you can verify this uh, identity so we're gonna use this okay to uh, <coughs> uh, simplify the first summation and the second summation so if you observe the first term and the last term in the equality uh, in this uh, summation term okay if we expand it out the first term and last term are uh, actually equal and the second term is actually equal to the second to the last the same because of this identity okay so in that case <coughs> uh, we check the first term when k goes to 0 okay so that uh, c n minus 1 0 c n minus 1 0 that's the first term in the last term, when k equals n minus 1, so that's c n minus 1, n minus 1, and then c n minus n minus 1. So this actually, these two terms are the same uh, because of this, okay? And same thing for the second term, okay? And the second term from the last, they are, all, they are equal to. So because they are equal, so we can double this term, okay, to remove the k. So here, if I two, uh, double this, okay, so two times this term, okay, then I expand it out. It's gonna be the the uh, two uh, c m minus one zero c m minus one zero, and next time it's four times m minus one one m minus one all the way to two n. Uh, when you plug in k equals m minus one, so two times m minus one uh, plus two is two n, so it's two n c m minus one m minus one. Okay. And remember, we got two times, right? So the other one, I do it the other way around uh, arrangement uh, for the terms. So I go with the last term first. So last term is 2n, this term, 2n. I move it to the front, okay? And I do the same thing all the way to the first term. And remember that the first term is equal to the last term. So these two can actually sum together. And the second term is equal to the last, the second to the last, and these two terms is you know, summed together all the way to the end. Okay, so I sum them together. So what I get is, uh, I get a two m plus two. This thing, okay, the uh, summation k equals to zero two m minus one c n minus one k times c m minus one k. Okay, so now this k, the variable k, can remove the out, you know, to the summation. Okay, we need that. So that's the first trick, and then we can apply the same trick again to the other summation term, which is uh, two times summation m minus one, you know, k equal to one, two k plus one c m minus one k c m minus one k minus one. Okay, so we can do the same trick, uh, and then we expand it out. The first term is that when k equal to one, is three c m minus one, one c m minus one zero, because this is uh, you know staggered in you know, one zero. And then the second term is 5 c m s 1 2 c m s 1 1 and over to the 2 m s when k go to m s 1 that's a 2 m s 1 last term uh, c m s 1 m s and c m s 1 minus 2 and then because i have two times right so i again move the last term to the front okay because i know they are the same okay so when they are the same then i can you know uh, reorder you know do the <coughs> the the uh, the other uh, order and then I plan together. Now I know these two terms are the same, so I can sum them together, and these two terms are the same. Uh, not the same, you know, the, the combinatorial part is the same, okay? So I can uh, sum, I can add the coefficients together, okay? So if I add of coefi uh, coefficients together, okay, so that's gonna be uh, 2m minus 1 plus 3 is 2m plus 2, and all the terms are gonna be the same. So I can uh, factor it out, okay? Uh, from the uh, summation term, okay. So the summation term now, uh, 
Gee. A uh, little too okay for offense, not be here, okay? I think I got a typo. So this should be removed, sorry. <laughs> okay. So now, <coughs> we are actually showing the, uh, this thing, okay? Uh, this is the original uh, equality we want to prove. So now I have the two n plus one divided by two, right? So I can move two to the left hand side. So it can be two times this thing, plus two times this thing. And that's actually uh, the double the term we have did uh, earlier. We have done earlier, so <clears throat> so that is actually two n plus two, okay, uh, times this summation term plus two n plus two. It happened to be the same, you know, times this guy n plus uh, equal to n plus one c two n n. Okay, so now I have the n plus one factor, so I can re and, and by the way, n is a constant. Okay, so n is a constant and k is a variable. So if n is constant, n plus one is constant, so I can uh, factor that out, okay? So that n plus one is gone. So it becomes two times this guy plus two times this guy equal to C2 and n. Okay, so now it's uh, actually much easier to handle, to deal with. So now, in order to show that we need two identities, okay? So first one is Pascal's, okay? So Pascal identity is saying that if I have C n, K, that means you want to uh, find all the possible uh, combinations uh, to pick K objects out of N objects. Okay, and that's uh, all the possible ways to do that. And what you can do is you can do the C M minus 1 K plus C M minus 1 K minus 1. What happens is this. Uh, you can fix each of the items. Let's say item 1, O1. Okay, well, O1 in all the possible uh, picks you have. All ones either you got you pick it or you don't pick it. Okay, if, if you don't pick it, okay, you want to pick k items out of it. Then you actually uh, try to pick k items uh, from uh, MS one, okay, because you know all one is not included in your picks. That's one case. And the other case is all one already there. Okay, if all one is already there, then you pick uh, the rest MS one. Uh, you pick k minus one objects out of the rest of n minus one. So basically, this is Pascal's identity. We're gonna use this to show that. Okay. Then the second identity you need to have it. You got c two n n is equal to summation of k equals to zero to n c n k c n k c n minus k. And this c n minus k is actually c n k, basically the same. So it's summation n k equals to zero c n k c n k. So why is that? Uh, well, here's some uh, pictorial you know, explanation. So basically, you have two n objects. So you can split it, you know, to be n objects to the left, and the other n objects to the right. Okay, uh, but you want to pick uh, n objects out of these two n objects. So what happens is you can pick, you know, uh, zero objects from the left hand side, and N object from the right hand side. That's one possible, you know, picks. Then the uh, another pick is you pick one object from the left and the N minus one from the, uh, the right hand side the group. Okay, so all the way to you know you only pick um, the the uh, N objects from the left hand side and zero object from the right hand side. So that something together that will be this summation. Okay, so this C N K that means you pick zero. You know, not no objects from the left group, okay, but an object from the right group, okay, and then k to one means you pick one object from the left group, and n minus one object from the right group. So it's something together, okay. So this can be proved, okay. I don't show it here, but uh, conceptually, you know, you can look at this. So we need these two identities to prove that, okay. So first we're gonna expand, expand the C to n n, uh, using this. Okay, I just shown it earlier. And this is equal to, uh, well, because I, well, we're gonna show that k, you know, go all the way up to the n minus one. So it just, you know, uh, and also zero is because, you know, there's a k minus one, but zero minus one, negative one, so it's not defined. Uh, so I just, you know, uh, remove, uh, not remove, I just, you know, uh, 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 separate, you know, the first time and last time uh, from this summation. The first time k equal to zero is one. And last term k equal to n is also one, and the middle uh, n minus two terms right here is you know with that k goes from one to n minus one c and k and k. Okay, 
So that uh, I sum negative two. That's equal to two plus summation c. Okay, so here c n k squared equal to c n minus one k plus c n minus one k minus one. That's Pascal's identity squared. Okay. So I cannot, you know, expand uh, this uh, quadratic of uh, form. Okay. Uh, uh, expand it out. So it's going to be a squared plus two of these two terms and plus the this term square. So if I do that, then um, this middle term, okay, two c m minus one k c m minus one k minus one, this is already uh, one of the uh, in, in the original equality one to prove, okay. So I, if I uh, to move this out, it cannot be this term, okay. So this this term, this term is actually one of the summation term in the left hand side in the original equality, okay. And then the rest, the two plus this summation, uh, this square term, square term together. Uh, oh, well, we're gonna show this term, this this two plus this guy, as the the first summation term in the original quadratic, and then we're done. Okay. So to do that, well, we're gonna combine the staker the terms. So two plus summation m minus one k equal to one c m minus one k squared plus this guy squared. Okay. So it actually scattered. So I uh, arrange it, you know, two plus the first time k equal to one is c m s one squared plus c m s one two squared all the way to c m s one to k uh, m s one squared. Okay, and then the second squared this guy, okay, this guy is actually uh, one leg behind. So I the, when k equal to one is actually zero. So c m s one zero squared, and when k equal to two is actually nine up with this guy in the original term here. Okay, so they are the same. And they're the same, and all the way to uh, k equal to m minus one is m minus two right here. Okay, so what happened is this term uh, I can uh, uh, sum them together because there's nobody in your same as this guy, and the last term also stand alone. So this the first term is one, and last term also one, and the middle two is actually I can do the two times the summation k equal to one to m minus two because it go all the way to m minus two only. Okay, so if I do that, then uh, I can combine uh, this one plus one is a two because last one I know is one. Okay, so I can put them together and move that inside the summation, and that k goes from one uh, to uh, it's in the k minus this n this is k and minus one. Sorry, I got another typo. <laughs> okay, and after that, <clears throat> then this two is you know this two you know, also represent when k goes to zero term is one. So I can you know, push that into uh, the summation, so that k goes from 0 to, oh, by the way, this is a typo, okay, this k equals to 0, uh, k goes from 0 to m minus 1, okay, so I got another typo, sorry, so this is m minus 1, okay, this is m minus 1, okay, uh, so this is two times this guy, so that concludes the proof, I hope you enjoy, you know, if you like the video, please subscribe, like, and give a comment or share, thank you, have a good day.